Then we have Mrs. Survivor Russia. I don't think she ever had cracklings before. Try and taste them. What? Taste. <laughs> what? what is it? Is it what is it? Fried pig fat. Yeah. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survivor Russia. Today I'm in a good mood. We're all in a good mood because we have a mini holiday in the Russia here. We are having the Defender of the Fatherland Day and today we're going to cook the snowshoe here that I have been showing you guys earlier. We're using the, the microphone here, the wireless microphones, which is also supposed to be windproof, which is awesome because uh, it's quite windy today. It's also quite hot today and it's been uh, quite warm for the whole week actually. It's been, yeah, it's today is plus four. And it's been like this for a week ever since I actually managed to get out of the forest from uh, from the trip also the gulag and that video I'm still working on so uh, yeah today cooking snowshoe here with the uh, red kidney beans with beer and uh, pig fat and all sorts of funky stuff so hang on guys and let's do some cooking so we're warming up the cast iron pot here it's a poike so South African it's uh, very reminiscent of the Dutch oven of course because uh, many of the South Africans were of course Dutch if not all of them I'm not sure anyway <coughs> We have some uh, pig fat here, we have some butter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the onion and the pig fat in the pot. Then we're gonna remove the pig fat from the pot again, it's gonna add some more fat because uh, there are not much fat in, uh, in uh, snowshoe here. And uh, I'm just waiting for the comments, oh but you can get rabbit starvation, rabbit starvation, rabbit starvation. I know that, but uh, it takes a long time to get rabbit starvation from only eating rabbit, right? And I'm pretty sure if we're hungry out in the woods and uh, we are survival hunting and getting some snowshoe hair or rabbits, we will eat them. There we have the boss. He's looking up there because that's where we have the snowshoe hair hanging. The fat here is also salted. I'm not super happy about uh, commercial cooking oils because some of these commercial cooking oils they are one molecule from being plastic. That is uh, a little bit funky, let's say it like that. We're gonna fry this here a little bit and then we're gonna fish up these guys here again. If we are in doubt that our oil or fat is warm enough for frying we can always take piece like this and just hold it into the oil and it's all right it's definitely it's definitely fine let's get this stuff here out what do you call them cracklings or something onion Oi. That was awesome. Of course, the pig fat I added also to give some taste, right? Time to get the carrots in. Fry them a little bit. Don't mind the boss, that's how he is. He's almost always barking. <laughs> Then we have Mrs. Survivor Russia. I don't think she ever had cracklings before. Try and taste them. What? Taste. <laughs> what is it? Is it what is it? Fried pig fat. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> awesome. And then we're gonna move on to the to the snowshoe hair, which is hanging up there. I've already cleaned it and uh, and all that good stuff because I think according to YouTube's policy of keeping us all safe both on and offline that uh, I'm not allowed to show the gutting and all this stuff actually and and, uh, and um, 
yeah, skinning it and so on. But you can show the the afterwards. I I, I learned this from a few other channels actually. I, I don't know what's what's with that, but that's how it is. I'll go and uh, chop up the, the snowshoe hair. I'll use an axe for that and uh, a knife. This is my favorite small uh, uh, fixed blade knife. It's a Mora original one, laminated steel. Super awesome because it's super sharp. And this is traditional Siberian knife sheath. Made from birch bark. Some of you have seen me make this guy. Yeah. I made a few of them actually. They're also awesome. We'll take our divided little furry friend here, which is not so furry any longer. Add him to the pot. I say him because it was a male. basically all of it ribs and everything like that we'll take a beer a dark beer and add And then I'll cover the rest with water. We added a bit of water. We most likely add a little bit more. But for now, we'll add some pepper. Not too much. Some salt. We'll add some bay leaf, of course. I almost did. I actually did that, of course. And a can of red kidney beans and tomato sauce. Then we just have to let this stand and simmer. The longer, the better. It smells awesome from up here. <laughs> But since there's nothing more to do now, then uh, wait for as long as possible, most likely one and a half hour or something I'll say. Then I can just stand here and run my mouth a little bit, right? As I said, I'm still working on the two, at least two remaining videos from the, from the trip up to the Gulag there. There's a lot of footage uh, to go through and tra -la 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 -la. and I'm taking a little bit easy here in February because Traditionally, I take it a little bit easy in February, but especially this February because now you cannot, I cannot go to the woods. I mean, we don't have that much snow, but we still have like this, right? Like 40, 50 centimeters. And uh, when it's been wet for a week or thaw for a week or be, be above freezing for a week, then uh, not even snowshoes will help me, you know, just <laughs> lots of water under the snow and so on. Not awesome. I actually think I want to give a shout out to a channel. It's a Russian guy living in the US. Where exactly he lives, I don't know. And I don't know him at all, actually. I just watch his channel a little bit because uh, he makes some uh, interesting community posts and videos on uh, life in the Soviet Union. The channel is called the Ushanka Show. And he's just about to hit, I can see, he's just about to hit 100,000 subscribers. So, uh, Jump over to his channel if you're interested in uh, in life in the Soviet Union, because that's something he knows something about. So uh, yeah, interesting channel. He has lo post lots of pictures and so on. So go over and check out the Shanka show. I said I don't know him, but I watched his channel now and then and uh, post a little bit on the community post. And I can see there are some guys over there from my channel. Surprise, surprise, right? I think I met uh, God Slater over there actually, and a few other guys. So uh, check him out. So here we have the, the meat from the little guy here. Here we have some rice. 
and a hind leg. That's a deep plate of meat. That's a lot of meat here. And we'll just peel the, the last meat off the of the little guy here, the little unlucky guy. Don't mind the kids in the background if I haven't already said so. You have a nice hind leg. I already peeled the other one of course. But as you can see, again, there is a lot of meat on these guys here. A lot, lot. So we have some rice with beans and uh, onions and carrots and a little bit of paprika. And down here we have an awesome sauce. Very awesome. So we are in the house. I'm just trying this out here. <laughs> the little guy is calling for mom. <laughs> Meat is super tender and super awesome. So guys, let's jump back in time to the outside. So by the magic of the camera and the high technology, we can jump back in time and do the outro here instead of doing it in the house. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and uh, all the channel projects. For you guys who go the extra mile and do that, I'm very grateful. It's super awesome. There are links to merchandise and uh, PayPal, Patreon, whatever suits you. Whatever floats your boat, so to speak. So yeah, check the links in the description, guys. And uh, until next time, get out and train. Get it done. Do something awesome. And uh, see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time.